Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome aboard 1863 CP Hunting Passenger Train. You know, guys, they call me Loco Joe, and I'm going to be engineer today. I would like to ask everybody to please stay seated, keep your head, hands, and feet inside, and all aboard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to climb some really steep hills. Now, if this little train spins out or breaks down going up one of these steep hills, everybody that has blue tickets has to push, okay? <laughs> All right, children, I'm going to blow the whistle down here at the railroad crossing. I'm going to count to three before I blow it, and that'll give you a chance to cover years for me, okay? Here we go. One... Two, three. Well, guys, welcome to the beautiful Beaver's Bend State Park. You know, Beaver's Bend, it was actually named after Mr. Johnny Beaver's and the Bend in Mount Fork River. Now, Mr. Beaver's, he was a fur trader, and in the late 1800s, he moved into Indian Territory which is now present-day Oklahoma, to expand his, his fur business. Now, after arriving, Mr. Beavers met and fell in love with a beautiful Choctaw Indian princess, and they were soon married. And as a wedding gift, her father, Chief Green McCurtain, gave them 3,000 acres of land. And you know that acreage is a part of Beavers Bend State Park. Hey, I see a deer up here in front of us on our left. Also, back in 1937, during the Great Depression, President Franklin Roosevelt created a program called the Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC. Now, the main purpose of the CCC was to give, give men the means to provide food, clothing, and shelter for their families. Hey, there's some more deer on the right. Hey, there's a little baby fawn, too. I see a little bitty one right there in that tree, tree top. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Beaver's Bend, it is just one of Oklahoma's 50 state parks. And you know we have approximately 7,500 acres in Beaver's Bend State Park today. on the right. Now in the forest of Beaver's Bend, you're going to find a variety of wildlife, many of which include the white-tailed deer, and we also have rabbits and squirrels, raccoons, possum, armadillos, skunks, beaver, river otter, bobcat, coyote, wild turkey, wild boar, now, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all stay here long enough, you might even see a black bear or maybe even a Bigfoot. There's some more deer on the right. And we got a couple over here on our left. area blow on her left is the old mountain fork river bed now that's where the old mountain fork river flowed prior to 1969 now 1969 the u.s army corps of engineers built a dam on mountain fork river and they created broke bow lake and after the dam's completion the mountain fork river changed its course and it now flows one half mile to our left now broken bow lake is just to our north and it covers 14,200 acres. It has 180 miles of shoreline and it's 200 feet deep at its maximum depth. Hi, Ladies and gentlemen, we had a big storm blow through here about two or three weeks ago. And 
I won't tell you, it blew a lot of timber down around the railroad track. It just breaks my heart to see all these big trees blown over. Oh. Now we do have a one-man maintenance crew up here at Beaver's Bend Depot. And you know he's supposed to have this cleaned up by now. <laughs> and I promise you, I've been working on this every time I get a chance. There's another deer there on our left. gentlemen, I'm sorry we haven't got to see very many white-tailed deer on this trip. <laughs> now, I normally have anywhere from 30 to 60 deer around the railroad track. Now this is the time of year that our little mama deers are all having their little babies. And I probably have 40 of my little mama deer that are out on maternity leave right now. And when their little babies get about a month old, they'll start bringing them out around the railroad track. And boy, when they do, that's going to be a sight to see, folks. We're going to have a lot of little babies up here at Beaver's Bend Depot this year. You know, folks, I thought I saw a bear go across the railroad track. It's right up here by this... Uh, tree that blew over up here on our right. He may be hiding in that treetop. Hey, there he is, folks. He's still there. Right there on the ground, on our right. about our train. Our little old train is a one-third size replica of 1863 C.P. Huntington. Now the old C.P. Huntington was built in Patterson, New Jersey during the Civil War and was used to transport Union troops and supplies. Now after the Civil War was over in 1865, they loaded the C.P. Huntington onto a steamship, floated her down the Mississippi River to St. Louis, Missouri, where she was offloaded onto the first set of railroad tracks west of the Mississippi River. Now from St. Louis, Missouri, the old C.P. Hunton made her way to Denver, Colorado. And from Denver, she finally completed the difficult task of creating the very first transcontinental railroad across the United States. Now in 1914, they finally retired the old C.P. Hunton. And you know, you can still see that old girl at rest today at the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento, California. I uh, see another deer up here on our left. Come here, girl. Are you hungry? There's one laying down right up here on our left. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> This is known as the Old River Bend area, and it is the most vegetated area in the state of Oklahoma. Now in the Old River Bend, you're going to find a variety of hardwood trees, including the white oak, red oak, blackjack oak, post oak, pin oak, water oak, mulberry, wild cherry, elm, hickory, sycamore, bald cypress, sweet gum, black gum, red maple, dogwood, and Oklahoma State tree, the red bud. There's another deer on our left. Now you'll also see a variety of evergreen trees. 
including the short leaf pine, the loblolly pine, and the red cedar. Children, they even found a dinosaur on Mount Fork River. A little over 30 years ago, a couple men found a dinosaur skeleton 19 miles south of this area. And they dug it up, reassembled it, and today it is the most complete dinosaur skeleton that's ever been found in the state of Oklahoma. Now, this dinosaur they found, his name was uh, Acrocanthosaurus. And boy, is a big meat-eating dinosaur. It stood 14 foot tall, and it was 40 foot long. Now it looked just like a big giant T-Rex. Now this dinosaur skeleton can be seen on exhibit at the Museum of the Red River in Idabel, Oklahoma. And you know they have exhibits there from all over the world. Now all their exhibits are free, and if y'all get a chance to drop by and visit the Museum of the Red River, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. climb but I've also got a little bad news the bad news is now that we're almost on top of everything on the other side is downhill in my brake trail y'all about our trail rides. Our trail rides, they leave every hour on hour throughout the day and it's a real peaceful ride through the forest. Our rides last approximately 45 minutes and y'all are probably going to see some white-tailed deer, rabbits, and squirrels. And if you'd like to go on a ride, you can make your reservation at our ticket center at the depot. There's a couple more deer over here on our left. Well, folks, I hate to, but i got to blow this whistle again. Now, I'm going to do like I did before. I'll count to three, and then I'll blow it. Y'all cover your ears for me, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Well, you got to admit, we've had a real slow, safe ride so far. But coming up is probably the most dangerous part of the ride, other than having me as your engineer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call Wahoo Hill. And you know there's no need to be alarmed. I've only had one wreck down here today, and that wasn't my fault. There is no way I could have known that bridge washed out last night. But I've had real good luck just jumping over the bridge. So if y'all will, stay seated. Keep your head, hands, and feet inside, and buckle those seat belts. Wait a minute, folks, we don't have any seatbelts. And boy, I wish I could stop that sign, but my brakes are out. Oh, well, who needs brakes anyway, folks? I'm going to have to build up a lot of speed to jump this bridge. And I'm going to need y'all's help to do it. So I'm going to tell you a secret. The louder y'all yell, Wahoo, going down the hill, the faster we're going to go. So let's hear some Wahoos back there. Y'all believe it, we made it again. Man, I'm getting good at jumping that bridge. That's twice in a row I've made it now. Well, it's time for our cotton candy drawing. Who has a pink children ticket number 226? Number 226, just one, a free bag of cotton candy. 
And if anybody has that number, if they'll say, baby, when we get back to the depot, I'll sure get it back for you. And coming up is our roundhouse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we house our trains at night. And we also perform our daily maintenance inside the roundhouse. Hey, I see one road maintenance being up here on the left. That's old Billy Bones. Y'all wave at him when you go by. And I sure hope nobody has arachnophobia. Because we have a big old black spider in here we call Molly. I've seen her everywhere. The floors, the walls, and the ceilings. Now, wait a minute. There she is on the roundhouse door. Y'all say hello to Molly when you go by. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I sure hope y'all enjoyed your ride with us today here at Beaver's Bend Depot. I know we appreciate y'all coming out and seeing us today, and I hope we get to see you again soon.